it's Mary. I hope that you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me today where we will be talking about my third book for 2021 and that book is The Glare by Margot Harrison. We'll have a short summary of the book and then I'll suggest other titles for a similar reading experience. Hedda has been living with her mother on an isolated tech-free ranch for 10 years. Now she is going back to California for an extended visit with her father, his wife, and their son. Hedda doesn't remember much of her life before she moved to the ranch. Her mom tells her that she got too involved with technology, or as Hedda calls it, the glare, and that is the reason that they moved to the tech-free ranch. Hedda does remember her friend Miria, her neighbors Ellis, and his sister who was her babysitter. And she remembers there was an incident with the babysitter harming herself. Also, Hedda suffers from recurring nightmares of someone or something chasing her. But she returns to California, the world of the glare, determined to reconnect with her old friends, to build relationships with her father, her stepmother, and her half-brother Clint. She's also determined not to go off kilter with technology. She's going to use it sensibly. She has a cell phone for limited use and Erica gets her an old laptop that she can use. As Hedda reconnects with Miria, she learns things about her past that she had forgotten. And in her belongings, she finds a URL for a website with an online game called The Glare. It's a game in which players who die 13 times on the 13th level actually die. Now she knows the origin of her nightmares and when her classmates continue to play The Glare, Hedda is determined to put a stop to the game and discover who is behind it. To do this though, she'll have to confront the darkness within. So if you're looking for a suspenseful and at times creepy read, this might be the book for you. But what are some books you can read for a similar experience? I have three suggestions for you today. Every Stolen Breath by Kimberly Gabriel. Leah Finch is pursuing her father's murderers two years after he was murdered by the swarm. Desperate for answers, she wants to uncover the reasons he was killed and prevent it from happening to someone else. Dealing with asthma and PTSD, she can't do it on her own. After the swarm becomes aware of her, Leah recruits the help of a teen hacker, a reporter, and a stranger who knows how the mob works. They must work to find the person behind it all, or Leah may end up as the next target. Even If We Break by Marika Nishkamp. And this is one of the new books that we've just gotten in recently. Told from the perspective of five friends, four of whom are hiding secrets, the story takes place at a cabin over the course of one weekend. The friends are held together by game and the relationships that define them. But no one is safe. The Killing Woods by Lucy Christopher. Ashley Parker is dead, and Emily's dad is accused of the crime. A former soldier who suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, he comes out of the woods carrying Ashley's body, says gory, and then nothing at all. What really happened? Emily knows her father is innocent, and she needs to find out the truth. Does Ashley's boyfriend have the answers, or is he just playing games? the kind of games that can kill. So there you have it. If you have any other suggestions for suspenseful YA books, please let us know. And join me next week when I will review the book Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters. It is a YA mystery with elements of paranormal. Until then, I hope that you enjoy whatever you read. And remember, books can take you everywhere. And thank you.